Hello one and all and welcome back to the Brothers Grimdark and it's another Night Lords unit focus today and today I'm going to be talking about Terminators. Um, it's hard to go wrong with Terminators, they are they're the best of everything really, they look amazing, they're pretty good in the game, they're very iconic. Um, yeah, who doesn't love a Terminator? Don't, don't know, if you don't like Terminators, just, I don't know, what's something wrong with you? Um, love Terminators and I'm planning on having quite a lot of them. So. Uh, right now, for me, I, ha I start off with a unit of five of uh, just a standard um, box of Chaos Terminators with a sort of mixed loadout of weapons. Um, so I think I've got the Reaper Auto Cannon in there, a couple of Power Fists, um, all Combi Bolters, don't have any other Combi weapons in there. Um, it's, uh, the leader with a pair of Lightning Claws, though they're not Lightning Claws anymore. Um, so that was pretty standard. Um, and then shortly after that, um, I came across the Forge World Contacar Terminators, and I've now done 10 of them. Um, they've got heavy flamers and Volkite weapons, which of course are not in this book, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but uh, occasionally I'm allowed to proxy them, uh, use them as like combi flamers, combi melters, or things like that. Uh, just depends. So uh, yeah, so right now I've got those 15, uh, I said five heavy flamers, five Volkites, and five of the more sort of standard Chaos uh, Terminators. And I've tried running around, running with a few different combos of them so far. Um, and yeah, so to get started with, one thing which is great about them compared to previously is I do like that the combat weapons are just, um, what are they called now? They're called something. Sorry, hang, bear with me. Malefic weapons or something like that? What are you called? Accursed weapons. Cool. Um, so it means you don't have to deal... There was all this weird thing before where you had like chain axes and swords and power fists and lightning claws, um, which was cool from a fluff perspective. I do like that they're all um, different kind of options. Uh, you know, it feels like they are veterans of the long war. They've all kind of picked up their different war gear over time. But in game, it's nice sometimes for me to just have it a little bit simpler. So I do quite like that they've consolidated um, the weapons down to one profile. So it means you can model them in different ways. You don't really have to worry about it and just go, oh, that's an accursed weapon. Cursed weapon, that's what it's called. Um, one thing that I need to keep remembering is it does give you an extra attack. Uh, because I remember playing a game with Lyndon and I was like, these feel like they should be hitting a little bit harder. And that's because for the entire game, I forgot that they get an extra attack. So don't make that mistake. That's a silly one for Rowan. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good base weapon. Having that extra attack is pretty good. Um, so it's a solid, solid combat option you've got there. Um, in terms of their other weapons, the combi bolters themselves I actually think are quite good, especially when combined with things like demon shells. Not great against marines, but um, because of armor of contempt. But um, getting that extra minus one and extra six inch range means you can actually backfield them a little bit and use them as a counter punch. Um, so it's quite a nice little stratagem to keep your Terminators a little bit out of harm's way, potentially. Um, shoot the hell out of something with, uh, well, you know, if you, especially if you've got a unit 10 with combi bolters, that's going to be a lot of shots coming out of them. Um, so that's something I want to play around with a little bit in another time, but um, quite, quite good. And that's, again, one of the things which is great about Terminators, even though they've limited their options a little bit now, which is a shame, um, it's kind of like what's in the box, you can still load these guys out in, in quite a few different ways you can go with all just like combi bolters or you can stick different forms of combi on there you've got power fists and chain fists and things like that as well as the accursed weapons so you can still kit them out a little bit for different purposes and you're just restricted a little bit more now in kind of the numbers um on top of that they're really good options for all the different kind of marks you can stick on things i tend not to do that personally because more from a fluff perspective i like my night lords to be chaos undivided just because that's kind of how i see them from a fluff perspective um, but there's a bunch of really good ones you can put on them. The Mark of Nurgle, I think in particular, to get you that minus one on your wound um, against you, is makes them really, really tough. Um, so, and again, they, they just become very, very difficult to chew through at that point. The way I've been working around this, and uh, you've probably seen it there as well, is the Black Rune of Damnation Relic is fantastic on Terminators. Again, you get that wound reduction, so that makes them much, much harder to deal with. And then on top of that, um, it causes an 18 inch, 18 inch um, range where psychers, uh, any roll of a double, uh, also causes a perils. Um, that might depend a little bit on your, your meta, how that works, but with the armies we play, we have a lot of psychers in them. Like with Linden's Iand, and he's got a few psychers in there. I've usually got a bunch of my Tyranids, even his Space Wolves, you know, there's a librarian running around in there. Or he's not a librarian, what is a Space Wolf thing called? Not a psyker because Space Wolves. 
Um, but uh, so that's actually quite handy. In some games, I've actually found that almost as useful as the minus one damage reduction, which was the not damage reduction, minus one to wound, um, which was the main reason I was taking it. But it's a really, really good relic, especially if running them in a unit ten. Um, super, super handy. Makes them very, very tough. So. That's Terminators in a nutshell. Um, there's some quite fun things you can do with them as Night Lords in particular. Um, you can deep strike them in turn one. <laughs> Something I haven't done in a game yet. Unfortunately, I was going to try it in a game recently and then we were playing um, Tempest and we drew whatever the mission rule was where you couldn't do deep striking or something. So I haven't actually got to try it yet, but I really like the idea of deep striking 10 Terminators turn one. That could be really funny. So expect me to try that at some point. I just kind of want to see how it works. Um, also, you can do things like in Midnight Clad, so they're minus one to hit. So on, they're minus one to hit and then minus one to wound makes them incredibly resilient. Um, so that's a really nice little bonus for Night Lords as well. You can really just, you don't have to worry about them being in cover or being exposed too much. You can just march them in the middle of the table and say, deal with me um, because they're, they're that tough. So I really, really like that, um, that, that combination of minus one to hit and then you know put the Black Rune of Damnation on there and minus one to wound as well very difficult to get through. Um, so that's that's a nice one. You've also got your sort of typical things about Night Lords, you can stop people from falling back against them, so if they touch something and they don't manage to kill it in a turn, the enemy's not going anywhere anyway. Um, they can also fall back and charge, which is really handy if you do get stuck into something they don't want to or you want to fall back, shoot them with something else. There's a few different tricks which are really nice to have in there. So um, I think they're, I mean, they're Terminators. They're, they kind of do what they say on the tin. Um, but they're they're fantastic, and I think with Night Lords they do have some extra little sp special tricks which are quite nice too. Um, I said right now I've got those five regular regular Terminators. I've got my ten Contacar. I am planning on expanding a little bit um, to do probably another unit of uh, the regular Cataphracti Horus Heresy Terminators and converting those up a little bit to fit in my 40k for army. Um, just because I actually I just I like things simple because I forget all the rules all the time. So <laughs> I'd quite like to have a unit of 10 all with combi bolters. Um, that sounds quite fun to me and I don't think you need all the other combi options all the time. Just to have a, that option of just like 40 odd bolter shots coming out of them seems potentially quite good. Um, so that's something I'm going to plan to do at some point in the future. Not quite sure when I'll get to that yet, but um, maybe at some point on the channel you'll see that. And again, being able to deep strike a unit of 10 of them in turn one, tasty. So that's it for me for today, I think. Um, I love Terminators, so you're gonna see lots of them. Um, so I've got 15 right now, and that's just the start. Um, Codex is fantastic. There's lots of different options for things you can do with them. Um, so yeah, let me know how what you're thinking of the Terminators. I know that that big block of 10 with the Black Rune of Damnation is kind of a go-to. Um, but I would love to figure out some other options too. So if you've got any suggestions, uh, things that you think we can do particularly well, any specifically for Night Lords, but in general, would love to hear about that. Um, so let me know what you're doing with your Terminators. Do you love them as much as I do? I hope so. Um, and yeah, we'll be back again soon with another episode of The Brothers Grimdark.